The man, the myth, the legend himself, Klaus is in at Town Hall 15 with four golems, three bat spells, two witches, an E-Titan, 10 wizards, and a dragon rider. Oh boy, here we go. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the first friendly war that we have seen Klaus in playing with a bunch of tribe gaming members today versus nice monkey my team and let's see who's gonna be victorious lexnos or klausnos today we got in the Brox coming in with the first attack of the match bringing us a little skelly inferno baby action okay bunch of balloons on the top side with a freeze spell we get the air defense battle blimp making its way in oh Oh! Do you have the invis? He doesn't have an invis. Uh oh. Uh oh. The sneaky is going for the wrong building. Uh, sir, we go with the free spell. Does that actually work? No! Rip. That's why you always bring an invis when you're doing a blimp for the town hall, just in case. Oh no. Queen on the right. Here we go with the inferno. Baby dragon spam. Okay. Warden with the Inferno Babies. Early as heck, Warden ability. Skeleton spells to help distract. Queen on the right side of the base with the King to help support. Lots of archers and headhunters coming out of that defensive clan castle. We're gonna freeze up the town hall. Freeze it up once more. The Inferno Baby Dragon should be able to take it out. He freezes just before the Invis Tower goes off. Beautiful. Town hall secured. Healing spell for the Inferno Babies in the court. Invis Tower goes off. It's a little awkward. Queen had to go to ability. I think the eagle might have been targeting her. Poison tower going off in the core. These inferno babies taking a lot of damage, but he still has a bunch of them. He still has a royal champion to use. King ability as well. Eagle will drop. Skeleton spells are distracting that monolith in the core of the base. Is it gonna be enough? Can he get through that monolith? That would help out a ton if the monolith goes down and it doesn't hit the heroes. Ooh, yes, it goes down just in time. Pops the King ability. Warden's still helping out. Queen getting back up to full health thanks to that unicorn. We still have that Royal Champion and one more Freezy spell to use. Queen gonna walk up, take out the spell tower before it has time to recharge. When do we send Royal Champion? Send her now to help the King. We're gonna freeze. Yep, Royal Champion's in. Take out the enemy Royal Champion while Queen just beats on a wall doing classic Queen things. Now she says, never mind. She's gonna go beat on a different wall. <laughs> Oh gosh. Without a free spell, can he get through that Inferno Tower? Uh, I don't know. He was using the Lassie with the Royal Champion. If he had the Diggy, I'd say maybe he could get through it. But no Diggy means no stun effect. Queen goes for the Expo. Royal Champion, Warden going for the Inferno Tower, but the Inferno Tower heats up. Warden, 1v1 the Inferno. Win that battle. One more shot, one more shot. No! Bro, the 1 HP Inferno! Queen, go get it! Queen! He still triples! Yo, what the- Wait, does he have time? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, seconds to spare. It's a 3 star for Nabrax and Mochinos able to kick things off with a triple. Wow. Peivu is in. The first attack for nice monkey here today. Little queen charge hybrid action against Kronos' base. Queen gonna have to fight the king. He's starting opposite side of the town hall. There's a double spell tower set up on this one. With the rage bell, queen gets through the king. Headhunter was able to help support as well. Hound, ice golem, balloon, CC. We're gonna have to use the poison. Queen will be able to get through everything though. Nice. Minion to take care of these pups. We will get frozen up by that icy golem. That poor unicorn's getting picked on. Oh, unicorn barely gonna stay alive for now. We will go inside the wall break. We're gonna use balloons, wizard, and another wall breaker up on the top side of the base. Sure. Queen will take out the wizard tower. She's gonna make her way closer to this expo farm. It's gonna be a lot of damage on the queen, especially with that warden tower. You better be ready to use some spells. Oh, he was late. Rip the queen ability. King on the south side. Here comes the hybrid in between with the warden. He's got a long way to go to get to that town hall. A very long way to go. 
And I don't know if this is where he wanted Queen to go. He's gonna walk down. He's gonna wall break to get her to go up. But she's not going back up. That's awkward. About to get really spicy. Poison tower going off. He's going to freeze the monolith with the inferno tower. Hybrid splitting in like seven different directions. Uh-oh. Second poison tower goes off. Using the second heal. Still holding on to this warden ability. Has king ability. Road champion pops her ability. Road champion's dead as heck. That monolith just three shot at her. We got a rage. We pop the warden ability. Everybody invincible as we get super close to the town hall. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Hogs from the siege barracks coming to help out. We freeze the town hall. We get through the enemy royal champion. Can somebody go get that town hall? We might need to use our last spell over there. Tornado trap spinning the hall riders in circles. We're gonna go with the invis. Down goes the town hall. Whew, thank goodness. Queen will get the scatter shot. We're just now popping the king ability. LOL. Giga poison doing a lot of damage though. Queen gonna die here to the expo and the cannon. He's had a balloon on the back end, but that giga poison just wiped everybody out. Oh man. He actually got pretty close. It's just a couple of defenses left, man. If Queen would have gone up, I don't know. Maybe this would have been crushed. Maybe. King just beating on a wall now. He's got 20 seconds to try and pick up as much percent as possible. But it looks like Mochinos are going to have the lead after the first round of attacks. Sneaky Goblin not going to be able to get that storage over there. Diggy and King trying to get a couple more buildings, and they do, but this one gonna fall short. Did you get the 89? Yes, barely. 89%. Elliot is in with the next attack for Mochinos. Okay. Wait, Elliot's on defense, bro. I can't read. Fluxy is in attacking Elliot with a little E Titan action. Alright, Queen Warden on the left side. Gonna start over there. Make their way up or down. It doesn't really matter. The base is symmetric. We got a balloon. Ooh, lots of Teslas over here. Early battle blimp. What does he want the battle blimp to get? They're seeking air mines. There's a tornado trap. Ooh. Yetis. Rocket balloon. They're pulling the CC troops. Queen's gonna step inside. He just needs them to get the warden tower. And maybe that other expo. That would be super nice. Can the Yeti mites get it with the rage? No. That's awkward. His queen's gonna keep walking down. That expo's gonna stay up five ever. Not the end of the world, but it is a little awkward. A couple of archers to help support our healers on the warden right now, not helping the queen. Uh oh. Okay, they're switching back. We're all right. Here come the E Titans, the king on the bottom side to help funnel with a couple of witches. That queen taking a lot of damage from the expo. It's being so annoying. We rage, we wall break, we're gonna get away from that expo, thank goodness. Another wall breaker gives him access to the single target Inferno Tower. King pops his ability. Down goes the enemy royal champion, there's a jumping spell that's gonna give him access to the Town Hall. Invisibility spell though, goes off. Town Hall's invisible for now, he pops warden ability. E Titans are invincible as we take the jump. But we gotta get through the enemy queen, and we do. We gotta get through that Inferno Tower. The Monolith. Town Hall is just now waking up. Warden's trying to help the king over here on the right. Uh-oh. Do we have any more freezes for this Town Hall? We're sending Royal Champion on the left. We're assuming the Town Hall will go down. We rage up the queen. Single target Inferno Tower locks onto her. Town Hall drops, but we're gonna have to pop queen ability. Yes. Oh, and she's still skipping the single. Skeleton spell, Royal Champion doing a great job on the left side of the base. That single target Inferno Tower. We need it to go down, but Queen's just skipping it. That is off Wardo. One more freeze. Royal Champ ability in hand. He's going to have to freeze this Inferno Tower. There he goes with the freeze. Pops the Royal Champ ability. Queen with one healer still pushing through the top side of the base. Royal Champion. Diggy's going to stun the scatter shot. Come on, Queen. Go get the scatter. Go get the scatter. Diggy's going to stun it again. LOL. Diggy's actually pretty OP. Queen, don't die to the single. Queen, don't die to the single. Get out of range. Yes, she gets out of range. He still has a chance. Why am I cheering for the other team? I don't know. I should be saying, come on, defense. Come on, defense. It might be a 99. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rip Fluxy with the 98%. Oof. Man, 
is in with the second attack for nice monkey. Let's see if we can get a triple and tie things up against Mochinos. Six lightning spells, one earthquake. There's the quake, there's the zaps. He gets the monolith, a scatter shot, takes out one of the spell towers. Nice, we got the wall breaker on the top side. We got the sneaky goblin. King's gonna go inside the wall break. We're gonna suey for the town hall chamber. King and Road champion together. No headhunter. Rip. That's okay. King can pop his ability here. Get some good value. Tanking for the Road champion. Ice Golem throws up the enemy king. We send a headhunter to help support. Warden Tower is doing a lot of damage to our Road champion. Ooh. She's going for the Warden Tower. Yes, get it. Before locking onto the Hound. That's actually beautiful. And she goes for the Spell Tower. Can we make the Hound invisible? Perfect! So she goes for the Inferno Tower. Now, if Queen could fight the Hound before the Town Hall wakes up, this timing is going to be phenomenal. Queen, lock onto the Hound next. Lock onto the Hound. Oh my gosh, that is just absolutely perfect for Van. Queen can fight the Hound, and the Town Hall is not awake to shoot her yet. Yes, this timing was just perfect. She'll take out all the pups thanks to the poison spell. Now she can pop her ability. Town Hall will go down and let's see how good as Lalo is today. No sweepers to worry about. Starts with the Hound and the Stone Slammer from the right side of the base. Next Hound coming in with the Warden. Last Hound already deployed from the south side. All the air defenses are stacked up on this bottom right side of the base. He's going to freeze up the Inferno Tower with the Eagle. That's a pretty high value freeze. More balloons from 6 o'clock. We're going to haste. We're going to pop Warden ability. Sends the Headhunters. He's being patient. There goes the Warren ability. Headhunters making their way over to the enemy Archer Queen. There's a Tesla farm on the back end of the base, but he still has a couple of spells. He's going to use the Freeze early for the Expo, for the Cannon, to make sure that Queen's going down. She still didn't go down. She's on 1 HP. Ooh, we got the Owl that can hopefully take her out, or the Pups will get her. Come on, Pups. Yes, down goes the Queen. There's the Tornado Trap. We still have troops in the Stone Slammer. Lots of balloons, Warden at full health with the Owl, 50 seconds on the clock, air skellies are popping, they're going to take out some of our pups, but he's got it. It's looking good for Van. Dragon Rider, Inferno Baby Dragon coming out of the Stone Slammer to help with clean up the base is crushed. And we are going to be all tied up after the second round of attacks, ladies and gentlefish, five stars apiece. Kronos is in with the next attack. Four Mo Chinos. Coming in with a little uh Sui Lalo. He's got a golem. He's got a couple skeleton spells to help support. Golem with the queen. Okay. King going in toward the eagle. I was about to say this base looks familiar, but then I realized it's my base. <laughs> oh, I'm being weird today. Queen with the golem and the giant walking up toward the top side. Another skeleton spell to help her out. King, taking out the enemy king, gonna take out the eagle artillery as well. There goes the log launcher. Log launcher gonna help take out the expo, hopefully take out the inferno tower. Looks like that's his plan. Royal champion in from the top side. Four super minions come out of the defensive clan castle. Rip, that poison spell is gonna be really good though, just kill them all. I should have put some rocket balloons in there too. Queen with the Diggy and the Unicorn now. I'm going to clear this top compartment. Log Launcher got some good value. What's in there? The Invis Tower went off early thanks to that Log Launcher. Ooh. Bro, that's actually so clutch. Rip. Nice play there from Kronos. And the Queen's still alive. Lalo going in toward the Town Hall now. That was actually super clutch. The Log Launcher making the Invis Tower go off early. And his Ice Hound pulling all the Red Bombs behind the Town Hall. Ooh, Warden ability for the balloons. Yes, Town Hall secured. Rage Tower going off. Tesla Farm scatter shot. Expo going to be raged up. Can they do enough damage? Sends more balloons from the south side. Come on, Rage Tower. He's got a freeze, though. He's got another freeze after that. He's got a rage for his balloons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, Raged up scatter shot. Do some damage. Do some damage. No, he's got another freeze. Bro, all the balloons just got wrecked. Can I still get the defense? <gasps> I can. Maybe. He's got the invis. Down goes the scatter. Bro, that rage tower behind the Tesla farm was actually pretty OP. I can't believe that stopped it. It was looking so good for Kronos. Hold on. Don't tell me I'm jinxing him myself. No, it is a defense. <gasps> oh, baby. 
That Rage Tower with the Tesla Farm combo wombo stops the Lalo and he barely falls short at 96%. Nice try. Mahoka is in with the next attack for Nice Monkey. We have a chance here to take the lead if we can triple Yo-Yo's base. Let's see if we can get it done, bro. This base is so toxic. That town hall in the middle with the two invisibility towers is tougher than you think. It's going with an early battle blimp from the top side. Hello, tornado trap. The monolith is there. Is that a blizz? It is. Oh, okay. Take out the monolith. Super wizard is going to be able to damage the king. Going to be able to kill the hound. They get frozen by the ice golem, though. It's a little awkward. Can we get the warden tower? That would help out a ton. Yes. Thank you. Pops the Hound, gets the Warden Tower. <laughs> All right, cool. That's some decent Blizz value. Not the best Blizz in the world, but definitely decent. Queen with the E-Titan over on the top right side of the base. King on the right as well with the Frosty. Couple of healers to help these E-Titans. Here we go. Do we use the Warden to help them out? Or no? Yes, sir. Warden is in with the Poison Lizard. King setting a nice funnel on the right side. We get through the enemy royal champion. We got the jumping spell. Got to be careful with these invis towers. We, he decides to use the warden ability early. Invis tower goes off. Queen steps up for the builder hut. Oh, it's about to get real spicy. We go with the rage. We're going to freeze the left invis tower. King beating on a wall. We freeze the left invis tower again. Down goes the town hall. Now we pop king ability. Down goes the invis tower. It still goes off though, even when it dies. Royal Champion on the south side of the base. Here we go. A couple balloons to help distract that Inferno Tower, but the Inferno still locks on to our Diggy. Uh oh, we ripped the Diggy. We go with the Invis there. Everybody died in the core, bro. What the heck happened to his troops? Yo, this base is so toxic. Last free spell is in. Royal Champion can pop her ability here, but she's not going to get that much more. It's going to be low percent. Rip. Rip. Told you guys, man, this base is just tough to beat. Somebody needs to crack this base and let me know how you crack it. Can you pick up much more percent? Can you get the Nat 69? That'll be okay. We're at 65. Got a couple of sneakies. 66. There go the sneakies. Headhunters won't be able to do anything, but he uses them to distract perfectly so the sneakies can get one more building. There's 69. Let's go. <laughs> The minion dies. Does the eagle lock onto the archer so we actually get the nat 69? Please, eagle. Please, eagle. Eagle. Yes! Yes! Bro, he's gonna get it! Not even a forced 69, bro. It's a nat 69. Let's go. That's a four star attack for nice monkey. Yo, yo, 23 is in with the next attack. Bringing us some queen charge lalo. Okay. Queen over at 1030. King on the top side. Nice. Couple of archers on both sides. King should be going in for the Inferno Tower. Seems like that's the plan. We got a Valkyrie to help support. Perfect pathing from the King and the Frosty. We're gonna pop that King ability. He's gonna fight the enemy King. Should be able to go take out the Inferno Tower as well. Queen's gonna walk to the left. She's gonna go toward the other Inferno Tower. Then he'll need a plan for the Eagle as Queen cannot reach it. Our two sweepers there. He sends two hog riders. They're going to pull the CC troops. They might take out the Tesla, but they won't get the Eagle. Ooh, they might not pull the CC troops. Uh, well, maybe. What's in there? Yes, he does get the full pull. Rage on the Queen. She takes out Warden Tower, then switches to CC troops. Perfect timing. Healers are not in range of the Inferno. So this is cash money timing for Yo-Yo 23. He pops the Hound. Now we can deal with the Pups and the Ice Golem. Now, Queen's going to walk left here, isn't she? Maybe. But the healers are going to get hit a little bit by the Inferno Tower, but it's not the end of the world. We might just need to use a spell. Got a Super Barbarian to help funnel. A couple of Cocoa Balloons. And, yeah, she's going to take a while to target that Inferno, so he's going to rage up. Down goes the Inferno. Royal Champion for the Eagle. She'll get both sweepers. She'll pick up the multi. Slammer and Lalo. Here we go. Now there is an invisibility tower behind the town hall. So we're going to have to be careful here. Poison Tower hits the Royal Champion. We pop the RC ability. 
This is about to get wonky with that invis tower. We'll rage the queen on the left. She'll take the scatter shot and the enemy queen, hopefully. Royal champion with the phoenix actually pulls the invis tower early. No, he froze. Ooh, pops warden ability. But invis tower goes off. Town hall still up. Uh-oh. Everybody's skipping it. No way. He freezes again. Can we backtrack? One balloon. One balloon goes back in the rage. Takes it out. <gasps> oh, that worked out so well for Yo-Yo. Jeez, that one balloon saved the day in the rage. I mean, it was still looking pretty crushed. I think he would have been okay either way. What a plan from Yo-Yo23. The Warden dies in the Giga Poison, but he's got so many balloons alive. Down goes the base, and it's another three-star for Mochinos. Elliot is in against Klaus's base. Here we go. Another Lalo. Ooh, going with early Warden Blimp on this one. There's a double Invis tower set up in the core. Oh, this is about to get sketchy. Nice Warden ability. Does he have a recall spell? He does not. So Wardens cannot be recalled. We got the Invis. We got the Rage. Super Archers. Ooh. Oh no, that scatter shot got a shot off. Was his Invis late? He's only got one Super Archer alive. Oh no, Elliot. Bro, rip the homie. His Invis was late. All his Super Archers got absolutely wrecked. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yikes. He was supposed to get both scatter shots. The Town Hall. Oh no. He's in big trouble. Can he save it? He's thinking. What does he want to do? King Queen over on the top left side. Baby Dragon of Funnel. Wall break in. Okie dokie. Royal Champion at 9. With the Diggy. That Diggy is pretty OP. That stun effect is so nice. King can pop his ability here. I don't even think he's going to be able to get this Town Hall, is he? This is going to be so sketchy. The Invis Towers are recharging. Bro, there's like no way to recover from this attack. Well, hold on. Invis the Queen. But then the other Invis Tower is still going to be able to go off. Like, there's just nothing he can do. He's going to freeze it. Ugh. Has to pop her ability. Has to freeze. And she won't get it in time. She's going to get stuck on the king even. Oh my gosh, bro. That's a rip. He can't even save it. He doesn't have any spells. That's unfortunate. You might as well go for percent. There's nothing you can do for the two star, I don't think. Rip. Elliot, dude. Oh man. Klaus' base is just too OP. He gets the one star defense. Is that going to be the thumbnail? I don't know. Klaus just too good, even on defense. Down go all of his balloons. Minions trying to pick up some percent. Do we get another Nat 69? He might. Hold on. Hold on. 66. Don't tell me that Royal Champion can kill all these pups. They need to get the dark storage for the 69. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. It's another Nat 69. <laughs> What the? All right. Beautifully done from Elliot with the four star attack. Do it. Just do it. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Klaus is in at Town Hall 15 with four golems, three bat spells, two witches, an E-Titan, 10 wizards, and a dragon rider. Oh boy, here we go. What does he have for us? The double bat, the triple bat donut. Going for scatter shots, going for monolith. Is it gonna work? Oh, there's his third invis. The monolith drops, the rage tower's going off. There's his last invis. He got one scatter, he gets both. Okay. Both scatters are dead. The monolith is dead. The opener worked. E-Titan wizard on the south side. Golem hog rider already in. Dragon Rider, Balloons, Warden, Blimp. What the? Pops Warden ability? Drops King on the left? Battle Blimp gets there. No Invis Tower to stop him. The Sneakies will secure the first star. 
Headhunter shooting his warden. Oh no. He drops a freeze. That expo is wrecking his warden too, but he has the balloon. The warden still goes down. Rip. Queen is in over on the 730 side. There's a Lava Hound that came out of defense. Rage Tower going off. Another Golem supporting the Queen and the Unicorn. Queen needs to hurry up, take out that Inferno Tower before the Unicorn dies. Oh, rip the Unicorn. There's a Skelly spell to help out. King on the left. Royal Champion is in. She's gonna have to fight the Hound though. Queen is so low. If only he had the Unicorn still alive, this would be looking good. He pops the King ability on the left. Oh, we got a Poison spell to help take out the Pups. I really wish Queen still had the Unicorn. She's gonna die to that multi. We're gonna go with the Freeze. Keep Queen alive at one HP. He's out of spells though. It's all up to the Royal Champion. I think there's too many defenses. Oh man, that was a really creative hit from Klaus, but it's not gonna work out. I feel like the plan could have worked if maybe just a couple things were timed differently. He needed the Warden to stay alive. He needed the Unicorn not to die, and it probably would have worked. Nice try to Klaus, but it is gonna fall short. Royal Champion gonna step up for the multi. She's gonna go down to the Builder Hut and he is gonna fall short at 74%. Nice try. We are in with the final attack of the match here. Now, my E-Titans are level one, so I think I might boost my army. Uh, eh because why not? Why not? Boom, here we go. Queen with some healers. Up here. Gotta wait and see which way Queen's gonna go. We got the Log Launcher. Now I want the Log Launcher to go all the way down and hit the single target Inferno Tower at least once just so it activates the Invis Tower, but it might not. I'm being honest. It might not. Boom, 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 boom. Holy damage, dude. And this wall breaker did not work. Rip. Oh, it did. Queen, go in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's kind of working. Hold on. The Invis Tower did go off early. Oh. Oops, accidentally popped our seat. Come on, somebody get this town hall for me. Somebody get the town hall. Nobody's getting the town hall, dude. <laughs> no! I accidentally popped the road champ ability too early. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Dang it! It was a neat plan, but we just didn't quite have enough firepower to get to the town hall. What killed my warden, too? He died kind of early. He died kind of early. Maybe I should use two headhunters. Rip me! The Brox's base, 2 OP. 2 OP. I couldn't win us the war anyways, though. We were only at 8 stars. Gonna fall short at 84. We check out the stats. Klaus's team gonna win today. 12 to 9. 93.6 to 82.2.